Hi everyone, Chunks of Earth here. How are you? Happy Sunday. I'm getting ready for Science Sunday, uh, playing with the phone, uploading from this instead of my normal webcam, which is uh, the new one's on its way, and the built-in camera or the video camera. I'm doing this from the iPhone. I'm getting ready to prep for my Artist for Life show, so I'm prepping up some veggies and, and fruits to dehydrate and pickle, uh, respectively. And I was thinking to myself, after watching Chemo's vid, and I like Chemo, if you're not subscribed to him, subscribe to Chemo. I was thinking that at this point in the presidential race, when both parties, both candidates, are raising roughly about a billion dollars apiece, and I read that uh, reports have shown that basically there's only like three to five percent of people that are actually going to vote who aren't sure or haven't made up their mind yet of who they're going to vote for. And I'm confident who I'm going to vote for. And I thought the people that are are confident, well, you know, it doesn't matter. So I thought, what does Mitt Romney have to do to make you vote for him if you haven't decided to already? How is he able to convince you that he's the right guy for the job. And the other thing I thought, along the same vein, is what would Barack Obama have to do for you to change your vote from voting for him to voting for Mitt Romney? And then I was talking to my friend Cream, and I ran this idea by him last night, that if one of the candidates stated that this billion dollars that they had amassed through campaigning, that they would spend on doing right by the American people, whether it be building schools, building hospitals, giving us health care, um, creating jobs, investing in infrastructure, if they were to take that money and, and walk the walk and talk the talk and say, I'm not going to spend another dollar on advertising, I'm only going to go on C-SPAN and TV shows that want to interview me. I'm not going to charge, you know, I'm not going to get paid for it or not going to charge them money. I'm not going to pay them to marketing and advertising because those are the people that are making all the money for these campaigns, the slander. And, and what a piece of garbage uh, career it is in marketing and advertising. When you watch these commercials that are complete propaganda, it's insulting to the American people. It's insulting to the American intelligence. But that's what people want to see. They want to see smear and lies and disparagement. I want to see real action. So I thought, since I'm going to vote for Barack Obama because I don't believe the third party has a chance yet, we're still building, but uh, Jill Stein would have gotten my vote. Nobody knows who she is, and that's the problem. Uh, there's no way I'm voting for Mitt Romney because he represents the problem. And he's blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to go into that. But I would think if Mitt Romney said this billion dollars that I've raised, I'm going to start building hospitals, schools, and investing in infrastructure with this money, I'm going to make sure things get done because the people want action. And, and if I don't do that, I will be impeached. Then I would have a hard decision to make because... President Obama said that he was going to build more green energy and wind turbines and, and solar cells and stuff, and then got fucked over by Solyndra, which was Bush's issue until Obama invested more money in it. And, you know, and if, and if Obama said, I'm taking this billion dollars that the people gave me, and I'm going to do right by them, and I'm going to give everybody health care with that billion dollars so we can get started on preventative uh, health and making sure that things don't cause problems in the future and it'll save money in the long run. Well, then I think Mitt Romney would have a hard time. So, uh, your thoughts. Just what would, what would each candidate have to do to switch your vote? Or how bad would they have to screw up for you to no longer vote for them? Because I think they're spending a billion dollars apiece trying to get 3 to 5% of the population that might not vote anyway. It's a real waste of money, in my opinion. I'm Chunks of Earth, so are you. See you on Science Sunday in a few hours. Thank you for watching.